So PWA is basically a web app that helps to create applications that work similarly like a native applications. So if you ask me whether PWA is the future, I would definitely say yes. So without any further ado, let's get started. So currently what I've done, I have mentioned the steps that I have used to uh, install the PWA in my local system. And at the end, I'll run it and I'll show you how it looks like. So before that, I think there are around a uh, uh, few steps which we need to follow and it needs to be correctly followed. Uh, otherwise, we'll be getting up, uh, getting errors whenever we try to run it. So as a prerequisite, what you have to do, you have to install node plus npm. So I have given some links over here so we can follow the links. And if you have any other way to install these two packages, uh, you can definitely go ahead and install this. And along with that, uh, there is a link for yarn as well. So this is the link I have given. So again, if you have any other way, any other links that you have already have, you can follow that. And before going forward, just need to check your versions for your Node.js. It should be more than 16. Yarn, it should be more than 1.13. And NPM, it should be 8.19. So uh, as per the documentation, official documentation, uh, we will prefer using Yarn to install and run the application. And if I go to the second uh, step, which is setting up the storefront project, what we have to do, we have to go to our HTML directory. So HTML directory is nothing but where we are going to install our PW application. So if you go here, one second. So if I go here and if I type PWA, This is where we have installed our PWA. So it is under var www.html slash PWA. That is the directory name. So we have to follow that path. And once we do that, we have to run this command yarn create at the rate magento slash PWA. So once we run this command, we'll be getting uh, some options. If I zoom this particular image, so this is how you will be going to get this particular uh, options whenever you'll be installing the PWA application. So once you run it, it will ask creating a PWA project, the root directory, it is a folder name or the directory name, what I've given. So I have used PWA, short name of the project, same PWA, name of the author in the package.json, I have given Mage Digest, which template would you like to use to bootstrap? So this is something uh, so which is by default. That is a Vania concept and Magento instance that will be used as a backend. So here we have some options that is Magento 2.3.3 with Vania sample data installed. Magento 2.4 develop with Vania sample data installed. Other, I will provide my own backing Magento instance. Since I already have my, uh, if you follow my videos, I already installed the Magento 2.4.3 in my local system along with the sample data. So what I have done, I'll have to, I have, I've chosen the third option. So you can choose any of the three options over here. And there's a file called ENB. I'll just show you that file. Uh, yeah, this is the file. So over here, this is the ENB file that we're talking about. Even though you can give any URL over here according to your Magento uh, URL. So this is you have to follow. That is a Magento backend URL. So this is my Magento URL. So this is not the admin URL. You have to be very much uh, careful about it. So this is the Magento storefront, that is a website URL. So if I go here and type go here, yeah, this is the Magento's website. So this is the URL that you have to give in the backend. If you give using your own, uh, this one, backend URL. Yeah, so this is the option. So once that is run, it will give you a success message and uh, it will give you uh, certain options like what you have to do, you have to go to the CD PWA before running the below commands. So once that you run this particular option, uh, this uh, PWA directory will be created in the HTML. What you have to do, you have to go inside the PWA that is CD PWA before running all these uh, commands. So after that, this is the next command that is yarn run build pack create custom origin. Since 
we have let's say if we have uh, created multiple projects for each project there will be a specific url so you don't have to mention any url from your own you just have to run this particular command that i've given over here that is a yarn run build back create custom origin space dot slash so it will generate a unique secure custom domain for your new project once that is done what you have to do you have to run this command yarn run watch to start the dev server and do the real time development so this is the command that you have to run yarn run watch so once this is run you'll be you might get some errors so over here i've got one error that is the newsletter enabled cannot query field newsletter enabled okay there are some meta packages uh, that we have to install because it is saying pws studio requires appropriate pwa meta package to be installed on the backend so for that and also we'll be getting one error over here so for um, solving this to error uh, there's a solution for it so this is the url that i've given over here you can follow this url else what you can do you just have to run this command uh, that is a git clone and the pwa and this is the path that you have to give for your magento's vendor okay so this is so you have to be very careful the path that you're going you're going to give over here that is a vendor path should be on your magento's uh, directory so this is my magento directory and accordingly i have given the path over here after that slash ext magento slash magento pwa so you just have to copy this command and run it so what it will going to do it is going to uh, create a directory called ext inside the vendor uh, folder i'll just show you so if you go to this magento's uh, vendor if i scroll down uh, so this is a, yeah so this is the ext see ext slash magento magento to pwa so this will be created over there in the vendor and what else you have to give compose com, uh, composer config minimum stability dev so these commands you have to run inside the magento's directory okay so uh, if you uh, go to this particular directory and this is the magento's directory i'm just repeating it again and again so that you don't get confused so this is the composer.json so if i scroll down um, yes so this is the minimum stability it is dev okay so this is what you have to run composer config minimum stability dev so i'll just add another step over here which i have not written so you have to go to your magento's directory inside magento's directory you have to run this composer config minimum stability dev so once that you if you run this particular command this thing will be getting updated over here in this particular composer.json file after that what you have to do you have to again run this command composer config repositories ext path sorry ext path uh, vendor ext so it is getting getting a symlink kind of a thing it is creating a symlink create uh, symlink between the ext folder so over here if you see this is the repositories and once you run that particular command this thing will be getting updated over here that is a path url type vendor ext so where is your pwa that is what you are that is what you are mentioning over here so once that is done composer require pwa magento you have to run this particular command to install everything all the packages that we have currently so this is regarding the meta packages till here after that what you have to do so there are some errors that you might get regarding some modules so over here you can do one thing just run php bin slash magento module enable uh, contact graphql pwa another one will be the newsletter graphql pwa so once you run all these uh, magento commands and enable these modules and install the meta packages what you can do you can again go back to your pwa directory and run this particular command yarn run watch so once that is completed so you get something like this so your pwa dev server is ready at http uh, slash 000 this is the port number and the graphql so remember just replace the 000 with your local host port number will be the same same will go for the graphql playground and also in the uh, image if you see uh, there is a proxy that is created over here let me just uh, one minute so over here if you see creating the proxy one minute. where is it yeah creating the proxy http localhost magento 2.43 index.php so as that is done what you can do you can just run this particular go to this particular uh, 
URL with the port number. Remember, replace the 00 with the local host. Once that is done, what you can do, you can directly go to this particular uh, URL and run your server. So once that is done, what you can do, you just go here. See, this is my local host and this is what the PWA looks like. So remember, we have installed the linear sample data. This is the Magento's instance and this is the PWA instance. So look and feel is slightly different. So if you go to these dresses and all, so this is how it looks like. So the PWA part looks like like this, with the slightly look and feel different than what we have in the local Magento. So this I added in my local Magento. So this particular particular product has already come here. So if I quickly add this, see, within an instance it is getting added. And we have this button and all we have here in the product this uh, retail page. This is the mini cart. Check out. So like this, you can use this particular PWA instance and make your modifications accordingly. And also there is another option to run this particular server. That is, uh, let me just minimize this. Sorry. Uh -huh. Now there is another option, run storybook. So this you can ignore. This, this is this command and there's another one that is a yarn run build that this particular command will basically uh, build your package or your project and you can use this particular command as well and again we have another command yarn start so this is particularly it will give you the uh, live uh, notifications whatever is happening in your app or your website basically so i have run this particular command called uh, yarn start so once that is uh, run, so it will again give you the same kind of a thing with the port number and all. So this is the yarn start port number that I've got in the output 46347 localhost. And whatever actions I'm doing over here, all these are getting tracked here, if you see. So all these things are getting tracked over here in this particular uh, yarn start. Whenever you will execute that particular command, you will see all these notifications and all these logs will be visible over here get product details page so all these things graph tools you'll see over here get which list item for local field okay so along with the, all the graph tool details whatever you're doing whatever activities you are doing over here so everything will be logged over there and there you can see whatever graph tools are getting triggered in your pw application so uh, i think i have covered all the topics that is required to install this pw application and I've also discussed about the error that you might face. Eventually, if you face any other issue, you can comment in the below. I'll definitely try to look into that and give you a solution. But more or less, I think this is this, this is the particular error that I think most of the people will get. And I've also given the solution for that. I think, I, yeah, so I think that's all for today. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like the uh, video and also share it with your friends who are uh, working in your Magento's application and this PWA. So thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.